school administrators' January issue shares stories about breaking down segregated instructional settings for children with disabilities. At Pennsylvania's North Penn Schools, Jenna Mancini Rufo writes about her district's transformation on inclusion that began in 2014. A major barrier, she points out, had to do with personal beliefs. It wasn't necessarily that, you know, you as a teacher have been doing things wrong for all these years, but we as a system have not necessarily been setting you up for success um, to make this happen. Because when you're making such a drastic change, you know, it's natural to think like, well, was, is everything that I'm doing wrong? Um, and there were good things and people were doing their best, but um, it was time to really uh, make a shift. You know, we're all working together. According to Rufo, some of the most common challenges schools face during a transition to more inclusive classrooms include lack of financial resources, limited time for staff collaboration, insufficient training, and poor professional development. But in six years at North Penn, special education has changed from a system of self-contained classrooms to an inclusive service delivery model. What we've really seen is a lot of growth on our assessments. So students making much more significant growth in the general education classroom than they had previously uh, in a special education self-contained setting. So that rate of change is much accelerated. What's also equally, if not more important, is some of the social benefits and outcomes that have um, achieved as well. So families feeling for the first time that they are part of a community, that their children are invited to birthday parties, um, that they're not seen as separate or different, uh, but they're just part of the classroom community. Ruvo provides additional resources to help other school districts build a stronger alignment between general and special education. To read January's issue of School Administrator, visit the AASA website or join the conversation through social media. Thank you.